Okay, so hello again. Ngayon, mag-example naman tayo ng problems sa normal stress. Kuha tayo sa book ni Gilesanya. Sabi sa problem, a hollow steel tube with an inside diameter of 100 mm must carry a 10 seal load of 400 kN. Determine the outside diameter of the tube. If the stress is limited to 100 megapascals. So, sabi ng problem, meron daw tayong tube. A hollow steel tube, meaning meron siyang butas. Na may inside diameter of 100 mm. Then, must carry a tensile load of 400 kN. Magbubuhat daw siya ng 400 kN. Then, ang hinahanap, determine the outside diameter of the tube. So, ang unknown natin is the outside diameter of the tube. Then, then meron siyang given na Limit ng stress. The maximum stress that the material can handle. Which is stress is less than or equal to 100 less than or equal to kasi Limited to 120 mega newton per meter square. Ibig sabihin nun, ang maximum stress na kayang i-handle ng material is 120 mega newton over meter squared. If greater than, yung material natin masisira na. If lesser, mas okay. So, yung equation natin, which is Stress is equal to the applied force over the area. Ang unang step na gagawin natin is kunin muna natin yung FBD diagram ng material. So kapag do-drawing natin yung FBD diagram, kakat na lang natin siya. sa portion na to then meron daw siyang tensile for tensile load na 400 kN di magkakaroon siya ng internal reaction force na resisting force which is also equal to the 400 kN So, P now is equal to the force applied which is equal to 400 kN or 400,000 Newton. Then, meron tayong given na stress. Gagamitin na natin yung maximum limit ng material which is 120 mega newton per m squared kung gusto nating mas mapadali yung pag solve natin para magamit natin yung unit na mm dito let's convert mega newton per m meter square to unit yung meter square gawin natin siyang mm Paano natin gagawin yan? So, 120 times 10 raised to 6 kasi mega newton per meter square times, convert natin yung meter into millimeter. So, value ng 1 meter is equal to ilang, ilang millimeters? 1,000 millimeters. Then, naka-square yung meter doon. 
kailangan din natin gawing square yung meter dito para mag-cancel out yung units. Then, makakancel na to. Ito rin. So, ang magiging value na ng ating stress is now equal to 120 newton per yung bagong unit natin is mm square. Then, yung area natin is now equal to Yung area, area where the force is applied. So, dito siya. Sa may tube. Walang force applied dito sa gitna kasi hollow nga siya. And dito lang yung area ng steel tube. So, bali yung area natin ay magiging Area of the Area of the outer Minus Area of the inner Para makuha natin yung area nya Meaning Yung area ng bilog na to Minus area netong Butas nya So yung Outside area nya is Equal to Anong area ng circle? Pi d squared over 4. Pi d squared all over 4. Then yung inner area natin, which is may given na siyang diameter, ng 100 mm, pi 100 mm square all over 4. So, meron na tayong area. Area natin is now equal to pi the unknown diameter squared over 4 minus pi 100 mm squared all over 4. Then, pwede natin siyang isimplify. Area now is labas natin yung pi over 4 d squared minus 100 mm square so meron na tayong area pwede na natin kunin yung unknown bali sa so formula natin which is stress is equal to the force applied all over to the area Meron na tayong stress, meron na tayong force, meron na rin tayong area kung saan makukuha natin yung diameter na unknown. So, stress natin is 120 newton per mm square. Is equal to, yung P natin is equal to 400,000 newton or 400 times 10 raised to 3 Newton All over Yung area natin Yung area natin kanina ay to, Which is Pi all over 4 Times D squared minus 100 mm Square So Pwede long method Pwede rin yung Shift solve Para makuha natin yung Outer diameter Of this steel Hollow tube So now D is equal to Ang makukuha nating sagot ay 119.348722 Anong unit? Unit natin is MM Kasi mm yung gamit natin unit dito. Magka-cancel out yung mga units. Cancel dito. Cancel din yung newton. Kasi pareho silang merong newton. 
Then ang may iwan na unit is mm. So, ito yung buong solution natin. And thank you po ulit sa panonood. Comment lang po kayo kung meron po kayong mga suggestions or kung meron po tayong mali sa solution natin. Namang po, salamat po.